We had a home at Porsche at Zuvenhausen Stuttgart and we just finished a 1,500 km road trip to Austria in the 911 Turbo S. It was an awesome blend of a luxury GT and a sports car. Here's how it went. The Alps is pretty much driving heaven for car enthusiasts. Western Austria intersects the mountain range and is where we brought the 992 Turbo S. We came from Germany through the Autobahn and the Turbo S proved itself an absolute barnstormer, hitting 300 km per hour without batting an eyelid. The Hantenjok Pass is our first stop, 29 km of meandering road, climbing up to 1,894 meters. Now, the Turbo S has to prove its sports car credentials. So we're in the 911 Turbo S. Now, off the bat, the steering feels fantastic. Not as quick as some of the fastest racks out there, but it feels very natural and progressive. So the car always feels very settled and composed, which is in keeping with the character of the 911 Turbo S. I also love the brakes. There are PCCBs here on this car, and they offer plenty of stopping power and also a very natural brake feel. And of course, I have to mention about the engine. So, there's such an insane amount of torque that even though the roads are narrow and in between corners can be quite short, you can power out through the corners so easily. There's a natural balance to the car um, that of course comes from all the technology that has been thrown into the 911 Turbo S. There's PT, V, there's PDCC, there's PASM but don't bother about the acronyms all you need to know is that the car feels so good for the driver the Turbo S has always been known to be two cars in one a luxury car and a sports car driving to work in comfort in the day and tackling the B roads on the way home. It's a car for all situations, all the time. Now going through the roads in a relaxed fashion, the car is so happy to oblige. It's comfortable, it's quiet, and the interior is spacious with lots of stitched leather and power seats as well with memory. It's a place to be for a long road trip. Now this also uses the ASP PDK. In its earlier versions, I wasn't such a fan, but in this version, it's fantastic. And I think as we come to the last stages of ICE engines, this will be one of the final great force induction engines from Porsche. And I'm so glad that we can savor it today. It's a car that literally can do everything. What else more do you want from a turbo? So, is the 992 Turbo S still the turbo we love? Absolutely.